together we will overcome the crisis together as one. This beautiful and strong ending of the video is the perfect bridge to our talk. Vicencia Schule is a true all-rounder. She's an independent theater, film, and online content producer, but also a consultant and campaign initiator. And she is a lecturer and adjunct professor at the Nelson Mandela African Institution of Science and Technology. Vincenzia has authored over 20 academic publications as an expert in the areas of art and culture in Tanzania and Africa itself. So it is no surprise her documentation offers such an insight into the conditions for cultural production, not only during the corona pandemic. Vincenzia, thank you for this beautiful and also moving documentary. Hi. Welcome. Thank you, Prasanna. Hi. <laughs> Hello. When I saw it um, a couple of days ago, I thought it made it so clear. Corona presents new challenges, if you want to put it nicely. But honestly, it's more than that. It reinforces existing difficulties. Yeah. So do you think, has the time finally come to talk louder about inequalities and also in transparencies? I think uh, Corona is giving us that ground to speak to speak clearly uh, the inequalities and uh, challenges we have been facing in the time in memorial, particularly not only uh, in the global settings or where the issues of racism are being discussed, but as a country whereby we have so much classes, even for people or children who are growing up in this country, they cannot believe this is what has been happening in the past five years. So Corona has exposed us, even as Tanzania has been exposed with Corona to the globe, to be seen and people to start understanding what is happening in Tanzania. Because perhaps many people didn't know what is happening in Tanzania in the past five years. When, when, when I go back to art, and you, you, you were interviewing artists. You are um, somehow, I, I think, like a lawyer for artists, for the yeah. relevance of art. What is your vision there? How can the artists and their art production survive and keep their identity, which is very important also locally, connected to be to the local ground? How can their art perhaps reflect what is going on? At the, at the current moment, they are left with only two options. One is to keep on doing propagandic kind of art to uh -huh. make sure What is they, that? Uh, the propaganda kind of art is to, 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 to show that the government and the president himself is the best mm -hmm. person on earth. So you, you have to sing about the best about the president. You have to make mm -hmm. a film the best about the president. Mm -hmm. You have to draw a best picture of the president. You have to act the best act of the president, nothing else. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. your survival. Mm -hmm. If you are not doing that, I, I believe you need to do an alternative work to survive. After Corona, you need to survive. So it's, yes. you need to do something to survive. Otherwise you end up in jail. Otherwise you end up with being beaten. We are not saying artists were not being beaten before. Like Vitaly has been beaten so many times, but now you're being beaten economically, socially, mentally, and creatively. So you are left with only two options at the moment. To survive in between, maintain your loyalty to your art. It might, you might die with hunger because you won't be able to make a living or you might end up in jail. So the, mm -hmm. you, are, you need to mm -hmm. do an alternative activity to survive for this year. What about establishing subcultural structures? Like, which are not, 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 um, which the public can't see. It's difficult to, uh, you know. It is very difficult because the government <laughs> is controlling even the social media. You know, you have to register your YouTube account and you have to pay for mm -hmm. it. Failure mm -hmm. to do that, mm -hmm. you, 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 you are going to be jailed or you're going to be, to pay uh, fines. So for artists who whose capitals are not that high to pay, because the, the, the fee to pay for YouTube account, I think, is about 400 euros. 
So that is for YouTube. And then you are being regulated in your Facebook, in your Instagram, your Twitter account has been to be regulated. If you want to do a film, you need to look for all these permissions to do that, even if you're interviewing your mother. So it's a bit complicated scenario, and we don't want to risk the lives of artists. So we yes. always insist that they should take care of their health, should take care of their safety. Mm -hmm. Things will be better, but they should remain vigilant. When I look at, the, at a completely different situation, of course, at my work or the situation of many friends who are artists and performers, I know it's always important to keep a certain routine to stay confident in your work and your performing. Um, fortunately, you are one of the all-round talents and you were able to change your discipline from theater to film just like that, it seems. What did this yeah. switch mean for your personal, very personal artistic routines? I mean, you had to change and it's, it's difficult being in a completely different discipline. Uh, yes, I think uh, to me, it was a skill which I learned from my previous professors whom I was working with. Mm -hmm. they, they, they had experience in the field that uh, you need to de develop survival skills as an artist, mm -hmm. because if they just block you in theater, you should be able to find an avenue in film. If they block you in film, you must, should you have, be able to have an avenue maybe in painting. So this is what we have been trained and have been trained. Yes. And that has made me, uh, well, I don't, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm the best, but I've, I've been able to survive in this regime because I'm a civil servant, I'm a government employee, I'm an activist, I'm an artist, I produce and mm -hmm. I work on the ground in the community and I've been in women movement building for the past 20 years. So without this skill, perhaps I couldn't have survived this long without being jailed or captured or tortured or whatsoever. Yes. So it's kind of a skill which you can be able to maneuver around. So many different roles, which is, uh, which, uh, which is a huge task. What are your plans for the future, for the very present future, the next few months? What do you want to do for the artists and the art? You went everywhere. You showed them. You showed their conditions. This is what I really loved about the video. And what is your next plan? Can you tell it? Can you tell no, us? Before I, before I want to flee the country before Corona, because things were really tough, and... Corona made me to rethink my position, whether I should flee the country or still remain in Tanzania. And I, re I learned a lot in the past three months during Corona that I must be in Tanzania, be vigilant, safeguard my interests, but also look to the future. I uh, shouldn't rely on Tanzania as my next step. So I have another alternative I'm working with alternatives at the moment. So for mm -hmm. technology to have online shows, online exhibitions, to make sure that they reach the world, they, they, they occupy the space like the Latitude website and flood it with their creativity as one of the survival until the next phase, because we are going to have general elections in Tanzania in this October. Things might be October, very, okay. rough, very, very rough. So yeah. they shouldn't think Corona is an issue this October. So things will be very, very rough. So by December is when we start to stabilize if things, all things will go well. But before that, there's nothing you can do in this country before December. It's just survival. Before December. It's just survival. And then do you think it cha it'll change in December? Are you, are you um, optimistic? No, the, the issue is we know, uh, we know we might end up in election violence. So it's then, then we start to discuss issues seriously. Because now, you know, our countries, if they, we not go to, uh, to violence, we don't discuss. <laughs> the suppression yeah. will continue. So when we get to violence, which we, don't, we, we, we pray we shouldn't go there, but we should have a solution by then. Because if you expose yourself at this particular moment, they won't release you before election. So for mm -hmm. artists, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. very important make sure you're not captured before election because they want to release you from the jail before election. So <laughs> these are things we know. We are used to our so this is, a, this is a so PR. To protect yeah. ourselves. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> 
kind of PR activity. Can you um, formulate, because we are almost at the end of this talk, um, can you formulate expectations? You, you were talking about alternative um, options. And I understand that you can't really talk openly about the alternatives, but do you have expectations? Because we are an international festival, do you have expectations to the world wide community? Because for us, like I, do, I didn't know that there are general elections in Tanzania in October. And um, so I feel this times bring us in a, in a sort of not closer together, but we, we need to look into the whole world and see how the conditions are on, in certain countries. So what would you expect from the world in, re, in terms of looking I, at I Tanzania's world, situation? I, I believe the world is the best place to be. It's only that we are going through troubling times in Tanzania, whereby our president declared that it's a, the country is corona free, there are no any corona patients while we see our people are dying. If we can survive this kind of situation, we will emerge as very strong people after this thing and after all this mess. But also for artists, this is the time to keep on their minds, souls, and bodies to produce more realistic, more robust kind of art, which they can release when the situation allows. So it's time to, to, to keep on producing. As one of the artists, the painter yes. said, keep on producing, use all your energy and, and resources produce 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 because we know this situation won't stay longer because the world is watching would it help to collaborate with international partners in 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 terms of producing like that they can make things which are more critical perhaps public artist artistic partners i mean i think Yes, I think this, uh, um, there are a lot of collaborations going on whereby the artists in Tanzania, they normally don't perform their shows in Tanzania, even before Corona, because of the situation. So they do a lot of collaborations, but outside the country. They produce in Tanzania and take their work to international exhibition. So that is the platform. That's how I'm saying the world is a beautiful place to be, regardless of the problems we have in Tanzania at the moment, mm -hmm. but things will be better. So artists should be more creative, pushing their agenda, life will be better it will change after december okay. yes thank you so much vicencia for allowing us these insights and for your really engaged words also in and this insights in your work and practice and for your important important statements i hope we can see your work sometime some other time in tanzania or even in germany life take care and all the best because thank I have so to much. go. Take care. Now, thank you. Yes. Take care. Yeah. See you. Enjoy the rest of the festival.